this very evening, my friend, this very evening, we have two uh, golden-throated performers out here tonight. That's right. Uh, the one, the only, Mr. Josh Groban is going to be out here. He's on. Uh, he's uh, he's on. Uh, he's on Broadway in Sweeney hey, Todd. That's right. And then Cheryl Lee Ralph is out here from Abbott M Elementary. <laughs> she sang. She sang. Yeah. She sang her Emmy acceptance speech. Very very moving. Oh now, uh, folks. You know, ever since leaving the White House two years ago, we've heard very little from former First Lady Melania, but lately her name's been back in the news, though mostly just her name, because she was notably absent from both her husband's arraignment in New York as well as from his speech that night at Mar-a-Lago. And reports say that Melania has been so reluctant to re-enter public life that the former president had to beg her to be seen in public with him. <laughs> you know it's serious. Usually, he only begs for 11,000 more votes in Georgia. But <laughs> on Easter Sunday, she did finally make an appearance with the ex-president, having a very public brunch with him at Mar-a-Lago. It's an Easter miracle. The marriage has risen, or the check has cleared. <laughs> as you can see, as you can see, the, their table was roped off, but it's unclear if that was to keep people away or to prevent her from fleeing. <laughs> Now, there are conflicting reports out there about how supportive Melania intends to be toward her husband during his legal fights and re-election campaign. One insider claims Melania is not now or hasn't recently taken part in her husband's political events. It's not comfortable for her. Meanwhile, another source says they had a major talk and she has agreed to be on board. Now, it seems contradictory unless they mean on board a plane back to Slovenia. <laughs> so... Here's the thing. Will Melania be standing by her husband, and will she start appearing in public again? Here to tell us, in public, live from Mar-a-Lago, is the former First Lady. Thank you so much. It's great to see you again, Madam First Lady. How have you been the last two years? Oh, I have never been best better, Stevie. <laughs> you can see how happy I am from the smile on my face. Okay, so, uh, you've been enjoying life outside the White House? Absolutely. It is so good to get away from Washington and get back to normal life, spending time with my family, enjoying roped-off brunches at my live-in golf prison, <laughs> and disposing of top-secret documents. Yes, that looks... Mm, that looks, uh, looks fibrous. Mm. You can really taste the national security. <laughs> now, now ma Madam First Lady, I know the topic may be just a little sensitive, but I have to ask you about your husband's arrest. Oh, Stephen, I just hate hearing that word. Arrest? No, husband. Oh. <laughs> well, okay, well, all right. But to the... To the... <laughs> To that point, some people think that you were not appearing in New York during your husband's arraignment, that that was a sign that you don't support him in his legal fight. Lies, Stephen. Why would I want to be around all those glamorous New Yorkers when I can be down here watching retired orthodontists play pickleball? <laughs> well, okay, but then why didn't you attend the event he had right down there at Mar-a-Lago? I was there, Stephen, but nobody saw me because during his speech, I happened to be in the bathroom. But... You were using the bathroom for the entirety of his 30-minute speech? What? If he can spend half an hour spewing crap, then so can I. Up top! <laughs> Moving on. Uh, this case must be difficult for you, uh, Madam First Lady, since it involves your husband's affair with Stormy Daniels. Mm. How do you feel about her? Honestly, I feel bad for that woman, Stormy Daniels. I know what she has been through. <laughs> Worst 90 seconds of your life. <sighs> but still, but still, having your husband get arrested must have been pretty stressful for you. Oh, so stressful. To stay calm, I have had to practice mindful breathing exercises. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> Thank you. 
Madam First Lady. <laughs> re Reading, be <laughs> Reading between the lines here, I get the impression that you are not supporting your husband through his legal issues and re-election campaign. What? No, Stephen. No, what? And furthermore, what? No! Wait, so, so we can expect you to see you out campaigning for him during this election cycle? Oh, absolutely. We will be going to all the battleground states. When he goes to Iowa, I go to New Hampshire. When he goes to New Hampshire, I go to Pennsylvania. And if he goes to jail? I go to Vegas, baby. <laughs> Come on, Mama needs a new pair of stilettos! The former first lady, everybody. We'll be right back with Josh Groban.